this is a spotter a case of oral cancer managed by right modified radical neck dissection with white local excision of primary tumor with three dimensional clearance followed by reconstruction now the question was identify the flap and what is its blood supply well i think most of you got that answer correct and it is a delta pectoral flap some of you wrote pmmc which is wrong the pmmc would be much lateral pmmc yes is based on pectoral branch of the thoracic femoral artery which is the branch of the second part of the axillary artery the other one being lateral thoracic so you should not do that mistake axillary artery we are not discussing here so let i'll cover both the flaps in this answer so first of all as rightly mentioned by menak uh, we do three dimensional clearance which means not just the you know the two dimensions that we know but also the depth because depth is extremely important in oral cancers in fact there is a talk uh, that i delivered at mams here update which was on adjunctive therapy i did mention about the doi being such an important factor in taking a decision about you know adjunct therapy in these patients so it's important to get that third dimension right and um, once you get a three dimensional clearance which is uh, you know not no tumor on the ink unlike in the breast here we need to get 1 to 1.5 cm clearance which is different and there is something called as stretched margin so you should be careful about that so once you've done the clearance now remember it's not just one flap which you use but this was completely this was just a soft tissue loss and depending upon what you lose you reconstruct we lost the inner lining that is mucosa we lost the muscle and we lost the skin so we need a myocutaneous flap ideally but the loss was uh, managed by using for the inner lining as well as for the outer cover a facio cutaneous flap that is called the delto pectoral flap now the delto pectoral flap is based on the perforators of internal membrane usually second third fourth but sometimes you can include the first one also and it can it's called facio cutaneous because it has just the pectoral fascia which is extending onto the deltoid depending upon the length you want but here it's quite convenient and let me tell you it's not a flap that we fancy or prefer in most situations because it keeps the head attached i would have used a forehead flap but it wasn't a very clear scalp and i didn't like the idea of bringing it down from here so the delto pectoral flap is a facio cutaneous axial flap each term is important axial means with a known blood supply and the blood supply here are perforators of the internal memory artery usually second third fourth but can be first second third fourth okay and you must keep an idea of these flaps that are axial axial means a known blood supply broader base narrow here so you know that you are not likely to miss out i mean you suffer in on account of the blood supply so that's the second thing thirdly when you are raising it some people like to infiltrate with uh, saline and adrenaline we don't we don't usually prefer it and you may need to cover the donor side with a with a graft because this is a broad area but in women or otherwise where there is a lax skin you can mobilize and do a primary closure as well now what is going to happen to this flap so we have used a long flap so that we can provide the inner cover and the inner lining and the outer cover both with the same but it's not a very strong flap let me tell you so if the patient is going to get get radiation it may not be a very very good flap therefore the traditional work horse is pmmc flap for the inner lining where which we pick up based on the thoracic from second branch of the axillary artery the thoracic femoral artery which gives our pectoral branch uh, that you would see in some of our videos surgical videos of modified radical mastectomy or even pmmc video would be there so we can flip it up and the inner lining is made by the skin that was outside and the outer is by dp but here we could manage to use uh, just one flap to cover it up which has its advantages naturally but this was an area where we were thinking we got a good clearance just that it was a wider margin and it was a very coarse kind of a growth which tends to infiltrate outwards into the thin air does better and we could get away by doing a modified neck dissection because 
We suspected one node to be positive, otherwise the neck appeared all right. Now, when do we disconnect it? The answer is the patient is going in for a radiation very soon. After radiation and based on the histopathology, it's important because if the, you know, we are happy with the histopathology report, that is the margins are clear, and the DOI is, uh, you know, within that range, we know that less than 5, more than 5, to, between 5 to 10 and more than 10 to 15 and more than 15, T1, T2, T3 and of course T4 is the locally aggressive, locally advanced which is involved the contiguous structures whether it's bone or uh, a floor of the mouth or tongue etc. So that was the answer to this question. Deltopectoral flap based on perforators of internal memory 1, 2, 3 or basically 2, 3, 4, easy to rotate because the pivot becomes a problem if you are too close for a patient, so we need to take it up like this and make 